Yo YouTube, what up guys? Back with another video, man. This time we're gonna go over modern warfare. Okay, everything that I've uh, learned about while watching videos. Uh, a lot of stuff that Charlie Intel has tweeted out and showed pictures of, gameplay, etc. Man, all that kind of stuff with the famous uh, big time YouTubers have posted and the gameplay they've had just throughout this the past week that what everybody has seen. But I just want to go over it with you guys a little bit and sh share my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, these two gameplays I have that you guys are watching in the background, we come back against uh, some high level uh, players and they weren't uh, winning by that much when we joined, but. Uh, we came back and won, as you guys will see. And then I'm playing a whole party in the second game. I think it's their TNA, as was their clan tag. It's a five or six man, and I'm playing solo and just smacked them. So, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. But anyway, let's get right into it. All right, today I want to start off by let's talk about the main concern. I feel like everybody's main concern is, which is the UAV. Okay, Modern Warfare is set to have no UAV, correct? And uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I don't, I don't care personally, but I know a lot of people. This is their main issue. And this is what all I'm seeing on Twitter and throughout the past week. This is like really the most uh, talked about topic. And to me, it doesn't really matter because I all love Call of Duty for what it is. Like people say, like I always say I don't like Black Ops 4, but deep down I do. I wouldn't be a level 1000 if I didn't. So that's that. I love all Call of Duties, whatever they are, whatever style it is and all that good stuff. So the take on it though for UAV I feel like without it it's going to be a lot different Call of Duty Modern Warfare well it's it doesn't remind us of a Call of Duty I think that's everybody they don't, people don't like change um, and I like to change games up like I wouldn't want to play the same game year after year so I'm glad they switch it up but without a UAV we've never seen that before I think that's why people are freaking out and, and I'll get into further stuff talking about it as well but one thing I, I heard that uh, from Charlie Intel is that there may be a team link in what Inf Infinity Ward was talking about. A team link, so you can see the ping or through the the map of where your teammates are located and uh, where they are at. So that would be a huge thing as well if they don't have a UAV. So you can see the direction your teammates are facing and where they're moving at on the map, which would be good. Um, if they are not going to ha going to have a UAV, my um, solution to the problem, what I would do is if they put a mini-map in the game, or excuse me, if they don't have a mini-map, okay, if they do not have a mini-map in the game, um, that's what I'm talking about, mini-map, excuse me. If the mini-map is not in the game, they need to have one and only show your teammates. No red dots for enemy shots, um, explosions, grenades, whatever it is that cause uh, red dots to appear on the map. If they just have it to where it's your team only, that would still give you the information on how to approach gunfights, how to approach buildings, corners, windows, just line of sights. It would just give you all that information just by seeing your teammates, which would be huge. Uh, everybody's going to be hesitant to push um, because you not you won't know if there's three guys around the corner, if there's six, if there's 20, if you're playing 20v20, which I'll get into. So I think having a UAV with just your teammates on it would be a huge uh, benefit to all of us if they're if they plan on not having or a mini map if they do not plan on having a mini map. I think that would be huge. Uh, let me know your opinions and thoughts on that. And, at, and any questions that you have, I'll try to answer in the comments. So make sure you guys leave that down there and I'll try to answer it. And I'll look it up if I don't know it. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can on that. So that's how I feel about the uh, mini map. And to me, it doesn't matter entirely. But I want something like if, where you can see your teammates. That would be awesome. But if not, we'll have to adapt. So that's that. Uh, next, let's talk about the gunsmith. Uh, this is a very interesting, and I think this is a great thing they're adding to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, for example, you can turn the AK-47 into an AK-74U. So basically a, a very powerful assault rifle into a very powerful sub, uh, which is one of the favorites back in past Call of Duties was the AK-74U. So I think that's amazing. I, there's going to be hundreds of combinations you can use, maybe thousands of combinations you can use. Uh, for each weapon, which is, and I heard they all play out differently from what I was hearing and watching gameplay wise. So there's going to be class setups for days and months and years to let people know what to use if you're doing content on YouTube. So this will be good for the uh, community, uh, the YouTube community, to make class setups and help people figure out what to run because a lot of people will be clueless if they do not, if this might be their first COD or second COD, they might be clueless on what to do. 
And for also, I, I believe you get five attachments on each gun. There's no pick ten. It's simple. You get five attachments, one grenade, one, uh, one lethal, one non-lethal. And uh, I think that's how it's going to be super simple. I think you get a secondary, a primary with five attachments. I'm not sure about the secondary attachments. Uh, then you get a grenade and a non-lethal and a lethal. And then that's that. Keep it simple. And I think that's what they're doing. That's what I heard. But like I said, you can turn in certain guns into subs, etc. So that'll be very interesting, and I'm very excited that we have that much of a variety in um, Modern Warfare coming up soon. Uh, the next topic, let's talk about kill streaks. This came out just yesterday or today. I, I don't remember when it was, but apparently there's no lapping of kill streaks. Uh, you cannot lap kill streaks, guys. Yes, I said that correctly. So if you have a UAV on, um, chopper gunner. And then gunship. Just say I don't know the streaks, streaks exactly, but say you have those three on, and I'm not even sure how many you can have. I'm assuming it's three from the beta or from watching the uh, people play it. But you can. So if you get UAV, chopper, and gunship, you cannot get the same. You cannot get the streaks again in the same life. Which that to me is tough. Like I was just talking to somebody on Twitter the other day. Like I might find myself purposely running out of the map to die. So I can just get my streaks again, which over time that would cause thousands of deaths just from purposely trying to get your streaks again, which would I feel like is not the right way. But if they want to keep it to where there's it's Heiko games are going to be tough. Um, gun kills to get the nuclear if that's how they're going to do it. That would be good because your streaks wouldn't be able to take all the kills. So it's just however you think about like either way I'm fine with it. I mean everybody it's going to be more you're not going to be able to cycle them so. It's just, it's going to be harder, man. It's not going to be as fast paced, in my opinion. So, kill streaks, though, there are plenty of them. Okay, there's like four UAVs. There's a personal UAV, counter UAV, I think, a UAV, regular UAV, and then like an advanced UAV. So, th there's, we're going to have plenty of variety to choose from and find what we really want. And I'm super excited about all this customization that we get. Um, next topic, let's talk about crossplay. Um, crossplay is coming. I think everybody knows that. It's a huge topic that was talked about. And I'm very excited for this because I have a lot of Xbox buddies that I don't get to play with anytime unless I'm playing Fortnite or something. But, and I'm, this is a huge step for uh, gaming. And then, because the biggest title that we'll probably ever see, Fortnite, to ever cross the scene, uh, took it by storm. And now the next big Call of Duty Modern Warfare title is going to take it by storm as well. So I think in the future you'll see this a lot more with very popular games. And if not, it might just be every game. So then you won't have to choose PS4 or Xbox. You'll just choose which one you feel most comfortable uh, using. So that's that. And I'm very I'm, that's a very good feature. There's nothing negative about that to me. And I'm very excited. And it's based on input setting. Okay, it's based on input setting. So if you have a PC plugged into your, or you have a keyboard plugged into your um, PS4, you're going to be playing against PC players with keyboards. So and th th that goes into that they read that in the game. So if you're using a controller on PC, you're going to be playing against PS4 controllers, Xbox controllers. That's how that works. Um, like I said, the weapons we already talked about that a little bit. And the gunsmith. Um, what? Let's talk about a little bit how the gameplay looks and. It, I can't feel it, obviously, I didn't play, but I can get a feel for it, if you know what I mean. It looks like a Battlefield and a Rainbow Six, and a Call of Duty all-in-one, which is what we haven't seen before. And I'm excited, super realistic, like, I can just tell, it's super realistic, and I'm very happy it's like that. I feel like there's going to be a lot of different, multiplayer's going to be fun, I think the Spec Ops missions are going to be an absolutely blast to uh, play. And whatever else they have in the game so the realistic and realism is amazing to me and i'm super happy about that um time to kill in this game it looks very very high it looks like people were dying super fast in a modern warfare while i was watching the videos um, of the, the youtubers playing it looks super high which I don't know how I feel about it. It's with no mini map and that high of time to kill. I feel like it's going to slow the pace of the game down and make it campy in a way because, I mean, you're so hesitant to push and if you can die that fast, it's going to be super tough. But then again, if you become very aware of have good map awareness, you'll be able to take out multiple multiple enemies in one, which I was concerned about uh, before we seen gameplay. Um, different modes, guys. Let's talk about the modes a little bit. 
um, there's plenty of modes. There's a 2v2, a 6v6, a 10v10, and a 20v20. And I even seen that they might go up to 50v50. I don't know if that would be like a battle royale or how they would do it, but that's what I seen. So we're gonna have a different variety of modes. I don't know, like if it'll be like Call of Duty World War II, like when you played War. That was one of my favorite modes. I actually had a blast playing it. But it, it was separate stats from regular multiplayer, if you know what I mean. I don't know, say, if 20v20 will go to your KD or go to your score per minute in regular 6v6 public matchmaking. Or if it will keep its separate route and just when you play 20v20. I don't think it will do that. I think it will be all combined. Um, but we'll see. That will be interesting. And I think there will be a lot of different things for people to be happy and satisfied with if they don't like regular 6v6 or... And uh, 20 v 20 obviously is going to be more chaotic because there's so much stuff happening. So that's how I feel about the modes. I'm glad they're putting all this stuff into a game so people have different options of what they want to do. So I'm happy and I'm sure it'll make other people happy as well. Also, one cool thing about the maps that I, uh, I read about, you know how in Modern Warfare 2 there's Easter eggs where you could get on top of um, the buildings and do certain things and within the maps like jump on certain ledges um, Climb certain spots that you'd be like holy crap and you would do that with your friends in a free-for-all mode or something fun like that Anyway, I heard they're bringing this back So you it's gonna have that's gonna have that classic feel of being able to do stuff like that in the game and Look for spots like that. So I'm excited to see that but hopefully they're not uh, remember on high-rise you can get on top of that building um, and look down on people if you go against the wall and that's what I heard is coming back if you guys remember that so that will be fun and interesting so I'm super excited about that as well um, uh, let's move on to one of the the main uh, positives in this game I think I this probably will be the most positive thing they do the game is not free, right? The game is not free. You have to buy it. It's 200 bucks for the Ultimate Edition. You get Night Vision goggles, and there's a $100 edition, and a $60 edition as well. Uh, there's no season pass, I don't believe. There might be. I, uh, uh, remind me if I'm wrong, or tell me if I'm wrong. But everything is free after release. So all the content is free, and you get it for free. Free. F-R-E-E. -E. Everything is free, man. So that will be a huge step in the right direction. What we did not get in BO4, everything is $55 or more for a gun. Oh <laughs> so God. I don't appreciate that. And Infinity War took the right step in this direction. Um, so that would be amazing. And I can't wait for that to everybody be able to be on. If you can't afford it, boom, you got it, man. It's perfect. Perfect what they did. Um, this is the most, by far the most realistic COD ever. I know we talked about that a little bit. But I know there's a lot more information, but I'm going to end it there. I'm going to maybe talk a little bit more. In conclusion, though, man, I'm very excited for Modern Warfare. Um, I love new Call of Duties, no matter what it is. If we're flying around, uh, all straight boots on the ground, like Modern Warfare Remastered. If it's whatever it is, man, I'm going to love the game at the time. For that year, I love that Call of Duty and only that Call of Duty. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to grind it, try to get to highest level, which we don't know exactly what that is yet. Maybe they'll change that up, too. Um, but I'm going to grind it, man. Hopefully you guys uh, start grinding it as well. It's coming out here soon. Beta is September. So next month we get the beta, man. Then I'll be rolling from there. And I'm excited to see what uh, it's got in store for us. So if you guys have any questions below, let me know. And I will answer them to the best of my ability. But that's all I got for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh my god, dude. Uh oh, I'm all one. I'm all one. What up, Raze? Bro. You know what I'm hearing? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing a five man right now. TNA. Who's TNA? I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't give a shit about what. Yeah, I'll take that, though. Yeah, I don't care who I play. Like right now, I just played a five man. I really don't care if I get beat. I mean, bro, like, oh my god. 
Yo, Slam, what up, bro? Is this an upload or not? Nah? Do I do that to him?